Hey, hello everyone! Last time we talked about how to properly aim a rifle with scope. But there are additional details that we need to be mindful and consider to properly execute a perfect aim. In this episode of Apulakai Armory, we will be discussing other factors that affect proper aiming. Let's talk about the significance of eye relief and stock weld in rifle shooting. Well, uh, we know that aiming is uh, significant in uh, fundamentals of rifle shooting. When we shoot a rifle, and knowing that we executed a perfect and accurate shot, we often love to uh, hear that sweet and satisfying sound when our bullet hits our steel target from the distance. But on the other hand, there are other particulars that we need to closely consider if you wanted to continuously hear that ringing sound of that steel target or see our bullet hits the X-ring every time we send a round down range. One concept that affects our aiming is the stock weld or other shooters refer to it as a cheek weld. It is significant to ensure that our cheek have a firm contact on the rifle stock to properly aim a rifle at the target. To obtain a good and firm stock weld, correctly place the butt of your rifle in the high pocket of your shoulder. Close your eyes, rest your cheek naturally on the stock of your rifle. Then open your eyes. You should be able to see the aiming point radical of your rifle and a clear field of view or what we call a perfect sight picture. The firm contact of your cheek on the stock will also prevent your head from bouncing off the stock during the recoil. When you rest your cheek on the stock of your weapon, your head should be remain straight or erect, allowing your aiming eye to look straight through the scope eyepiece. Well, keep in mind that improper stock wield will cause a strain in our aiming eye, and when our aiming eye becomes fatigued, it causes ugly shot placement on our target. Proper stock wield is very significant in the aiming process because it helps us to be consistent in establishing a good eye relief and obtain a good sight picture or field of view. We emphasize the importance of sight picture with regards to properly aim a rifle. The link is included below if you wanted to check it out. On the other hand, there may be occasions that you need to add a cheek riser on your rifle stock or sometimes we may need to add a riser for your scope mount in uh, order to obtain a firm cheek weld and a good eye relief. Another factor that affects our aiming is eye relief. Eye relief is the distance between your eye and the scope's eyepiece. The ideal eye relief for a rifle scope is about 3.5 to 4 inches, but this varies from person to person. So when we put our head down on the rifle with a good and firm cheek weld, our aiming eye should be able to see a clear field of view. Well, with that said, it is significant that your scope is properly mounted on your rifle to obtain your ideal eye distance from the scope's eyepiece. To ensure that your aiming eye have a correct distance between your eye and the scope, all you have to do is loosen the uh, scope rings and move the scope until you find the right distance between your aiming eye and the scope. One thing to consider is take your time when you are adjusting your scope to get the correct eye relief. You don't want shooting your rifle and finding yourself adjusting the position of your head just to get the correct eye relief. Inexperienced shooters tend to bring their aiming eye close to the lens of the scope for clear field of view. Well, if you get your aiming eye too close to the scope when firing a powerful rifle, the recoil will cause your scope to smack into your aiming eye and I guarantee you it will leave a mark which also I referred to as the ID Tango mark. If you, put, if you put your aiming eye close to the eyepiece of your scope while firing a shot, it will give you an ugly looking ring mark on your eye. So ensure that you have corrected your eye relief before pressing the trigger. This will also save you from injuries caused by the rifle's recoil. Well, there are more factors that will affect our aiming, but we will discuss more of that on our next video. Well, shooters, that's it for today. I hope that you obtained some good information in this video to enhance your rifle shooting skills. Once again, 
This is Apolakai Armory saying no and follow all the range and weapon safety rules and let's keep hitting the X ring. Simplify, laging tapat, at mabuhay po kayong lahat. Until next time, bye bye.